Thank you, Alex. I'm humbled by your kind words of introduction. Maybe I should retire now in the peak of the career of my life. <laughs> but there is work to do. As I look around the room, I'm pleased to see how many of J Street's leaders and staff I have actually met before. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, as I know I'm in a room of full lovers of Israel, champions of peace and justice. So, thank you, Jeremy, and thank you, J Street. I'm delighted to be here with you tonight for your conference about making history. I hope that I can offer some insight from my own story and experience. My family narrative is a typical for our own town of Yerucham. My mother and my father immigrated from Morocco. Mom cleaned houses in morning, schools in afternoon. Dad worked at a local textile planet. I'm the youngest of nine children. Dad passed away when I was in my early 20s. To an outsider, my life may seem a life of hardship, maybe even poverty, but I never felt poor. Indeed, I was fortunate to be the son of Masuda and Eliyahu. They don't make parents like this anymore today. And I was fortunate to be born into the Israeli society that existed in the 1970s. Back then, Israel may have been poorer in resources, but it was richer in solidarity and in social cohesion. One of the most important things my life had taught me is that no matter what happens, we must never let obstacles however large, prevent us from pursuing a better future. This lesson is true at the both the personal and the national levels. What made my community so rich, what made us so strong, were the values of which we were raised, the strong sense that we were all in, in, in it together, and that if we help each other out, we would come out ahead. Our values and our tradition taught us that when we saw problem, we needed to choose action over ambivalence and hope over despair. In Yerucham, we have battled corruption and official neglect often seen in Israeli periphery. And I'm proud to say that we have recently succeeded in leaving behind our status as a development town and are on our way towards official recognition as a full-fledged city. <clears throat> Such le lessons of overcoming challenges must also apply at the national level. Israel today faces many challenges. Reaching an agreement with the Palestinians and narrowing the social gaps in Israeli society should be our top two priorities, as they have mutual impact on each other. And recognizing these challenges reflects not, simple, not simply our values, but also an understanding of the realities that face Israel. We need to focus our limited energy and resources on the land that will be part of Israel, in communities like mine and in towns and neighborhoods all across Israel, where we have not done a good enough job. To this, we need to bring an end to the conflict with the Palestinian people. We need two states. We need borders within 
which we can continue to build an Israel of which we can all be proud. I know that Israel cannot be modern democracy society. It cannot be truly moral Jewish society while controlling the lives of millions of Palestinians. We cannot, we cannot be a startup nation when we are perceived by the world as an armed bunker. And one of our greatest obstacles is that the majority which supported peace has been silent. The conversation has been overtaken by extremists and skeptics. Today, unfortunately, significant groups, including Sephardi and Mizrahi Jews of my community, who were once supported of historic compromise, have been drifting towards extremism. It is not popular to be a supporter of peace today in Israel. The Oslo Accord, the Gaza pullout, and the Arab Spring, they are all being used to sow skepticism, marginalize and attack seekers of the peace. But I'm not discouraged. We should not be discouraged. Those who oppose peace lack answers to the most burning questions. There is a big hole in their story, and with determination, we can write a different history. Let me tell you a little more about my city, Yerucham. Population 9,500, Yerucham is located in the Negev, 18 miles south of Be'er Sheva and 10 miles north of Ben Gurion's final resting place. We are a community of immigrants from Morocco, India, Iran, Russian, and the melting pot of secular, traditional, national religious, and Haredi Orthodox. It sounds like New York almost, <laughs> but it's just 10,000 people. Our closest neighborhoods are the Bedouin community. In many ways, we are the microcosm of Israeli society, and as such, we have had our share of social and political turbulence. Yerucham is a community that quickly taught me that a central ingredient for making history is speaking across ideological and cultural divides. Rather than the complain about what we lacked, we worked tirelessly to bridge the gaps in our society with creativity and compassion. Nowhere is this more evident than at the Yerucham Community Center, Yerucham Social Heart, which I directed before running for the mayor. The principles we tried to implement in Yerucham should be applied to the Israeli society as a whole. The key is to engage, to learn, and to acknowledge the changing face of the Israeli society. We need to think differently about the coalition we are building. Those who are interested in achieving the political coalition that can support peace cannot do it rebuilding the left alone. We have to build a movement that stresses far behind the, the usual suspects. We need to reach my community in Yerucham, and to reach them we need to stop pouring resources into Judea, Samaria, 
We need to stop neglecting the Galil and the Negev and start delivering a new and fair social contract to cities that will be in the Israel for the, ro for the long haul. Without doing so, we cannot deliver peace. When you wonder why the left and center were and are marginalized, I say look at the periphery. Look at the weakest links of our society. We are only going to build a coalition for peace if we can broaden the people we look to engage. And specifically, that means speaking to the people who live in the margin of Israel society. In a similar way, we need to embrace the settler. While settlements are obstacle to peace, settle, settlers are not our enemies. <laughs> Observing and settling tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of Israelis inside Israel's borders is a huge challenge. We can see it with the Gaza withdrawal. We need to guarantee their safe return, and I hope Yerucham can help provide a home to some of them. Just as an Israeli need to reach across our own internal divides if we want to make history, Jews around the world must work together as partners in addressing our common challenges. While I have my parents to thank for instilling in me the values that I have today, I also must thank the American Jews community. From you, I learned about pluralism and tikkun olam. As a child, my parents could not afford new clothes or dental care, and it was the generosity of the American Jewish community that made sure we had what we needed. This is a lesson I have decided myself to bring to Yerucham, and it is one of the reason I co-founded and chair the nonprofit organization called Tseirim Yerucham, which aimed to shape a new generation of leaders I developed a local model focusing on renewing and reinventing Zionism. Our new Zionist pioneers committed to social justice, creating opportunities, and forming a sustainable society. I truly believe that people who practice justice at home will advocate justice for their neighbors. We have so much to learn from each other. It isn't enough to advocate here in Washington. I invite you to spend more time with us in Israel and in Yerucham. Find more partners and connect with them even if they seem to come from the other side of the tracks. Together, let's work with new and different communities and turn things around. You know the best kept secret surrounding J Street is that most Israelis actually agree with your ideas and goals. <laughs> My advice to you is to be clear and to unequivocal on matters of Israel's security and show empathy. This is the path towards entering the most important conversation we can have between us. 
on how to ensure Israel's futures as a Jewish democratic state. And you, J Street, are the only ones brave enough and capable enough to have this difficult conversation with us. I grew up in Yerucham. I never finished high school. I became a soldier in the Golani Brigade and later commander and officer in Golani and the uh, officer schools. I spent five of my years, my best years, serving in the territories, in my regular army and in reserve over the last 20 years. I have five kids, Avia, Roni, Stav, Ori, and Nevo. And I don't want them to spend five years of a difficult moral service in the territories when they're going to grow up. That's why... That's why I committed myself and my love, my life, to Yerucham, my love, to social justice, and to peace. You are making history. We are making history. Our challenges are the same challenges, and I'm proud to be your partners. Thank you.